welcome to the uh, 11th IGCSE Math Tutorial, and today we're going to be doing on 2.4 page 58 brackets and simplifying, and uh, probably the following equations. Okay, so um, brackets and simplifying. Brackets are these things which you know, and we have to simplify brackets like this x plus 9, and also ones like this x plus 2 x plus 9 but we'll do this type first okay okay so actually let's expand this one just change the color okay so 3 x plus 9 so what we do is what we, we multiply this number here this is called the coefficient of the bracket coefficient of the bracket and this is the and what we do is we multiply each number or variable by the coefficient we'll put each one by the coefficient okay so what we do is we do 3 times 3 times x is equal to 3x and then we have plus 9 times 3 which is then equal to um 27 plus 27. So, so our final answer is 3x plus 7. Now this is not really that hard. What's a bit more hard is the type I was showing you before. So we're going to do one of this one. x plus 1 x minus 2. Okay. So what we do is we use a method called FOIL. O I L. Now, FOIL is an, um, stands for first, outside, inside, inside, and last. So, we, this tells us what we need to multiply first. So, a first is FOIL. Sorry, the first is the first. So we multiply the first terms of each bracket. That's x and x. We multiply these together. Now we know x times x equals x squared. Then we have to do the outside terms. Now these are the terms that are... So it's the x here and the 2 here. Okay. Now it's 2 times x. Okay? 2 times... But wait, it's not 2 times x, it's negative 2 times x, because this is a negative number here. So it's actually, and we'll do um, at each one in different colors. So we're going to do our x squared coefficients in yellow. We'll do our x coefficients in green, because this is going to be negative 2x. The next one is, um, this should actually be probably 2. Negative 2x. I think color coding it makes it easier. Then we have to do the inside terms, which is plus 1 and x. Add it, this is just, just plus x. And we'll do our, our, our last ones in green. And the last ones are these ones, and they're done in green, which is plus 1, min, plus one times negative 2, which just comes out to negative 2. So now we can rewrite this. As because these can be these blue the blue terms can be collected up together, we can write this as x squared. Now the blue terms come into minus x, and I can just get our green terms minus two, and that is the full expansion of this. Now this comes up a lot. Well, you'll do a lot of work of this later, and it's quite easy really you also yeah just remember that when you've got a question like this x plus 9 squared it's just asking you to do x plus 9 x plus 9 now if you factorize this correctly and it's in this form um, x plus a x plus b it should look like it should be in the form 
sorry, if you, sorry, if for a difference of two squares, which is the one where you're squaring them, x plus 9 squared, you know that x plus a, that's a, 9, you can think of it whatever you like. We know that the answer is going to be in this form, x squared plus 18, ah, sorry, plus 2a plus a squared. Okay, this is quite useful to know. So, linear equations are also really quite easy. In fact, they can really be easier. You might have also heard them as two-step equations or one-step equations. So, um, not really that difficult. Let's do one. So, 7 equals 7. 7 plus 7x. Okay. So, the first step is to isolate this part. The part of the x onto one side. Now, we, know, we to do this, we need to move this part onto the other side. We can do this by sub by subtracting 7 to both sides. So we know that 7 minus 7 equals 7x. Seven now 7 minus 7 equals 0, so 0 equals 7x. And then we can divide this by 7 to get rid of it. So 0 divided by 7 equals x. x equals 0. Okay, so there's nothing much to linear equations. Man, yeah. And we'll just do one word problem. Okay. So it says the product 19. Oh, I can't write this out. Now the product of Two even the consecutive even numbers is twelve more than the part than the square of the small number. Find the numbers. Okay. So that will make or can you express this in terms of x and since they're consecutive x plus one. Okay? So these are our variables. Let's do the rest in this color. Okay. So first we need to write down equations. It says the product of two consecutive even numbers twelve. So we know x plus x plus one equals equals 12 more 12 more than the square of the even number 12 more than the square of the even number so it's usually 12 minus 12 more equals this x squared minus 12 yeah that's right so then we can just solve this out we know that x plus x equals 2x plus 1 equals x squared minus 12. We need to get rid of the minus 12, so we add 12 to both sides. So we get 2x plus 13 equals x squared. And then we can take the square root of everything. So which is square root of 2x plus 13 equals x. And then, then what we can do is we can square root each one separately and then we add them up and we do that. And eventually in the end it comes out to a... Okay, in the end it comes out to... I actually got this question wrong because I didn't read the question properly. Remember to read the question properly. It said two consecutive odd numbers. And that's where I had my problems. Okay. So most of these are pretty self-explanatory. It's just about turning the words into a formula. Okay. Um, okay, simultaneous equations. Now this is another big one. Basically, simultaneous equations are when we have two equations and two variables, and we just want to solve for the variables. Okay, so here's one. Um, there, are, there um, is the substitution method of doing this. There is the elimination method, and sometimes you can also use the comparison method. Substitution method is, is actually my favorite question. So, so 
3 x minus 2 y equals 0 and we have 2 x plus y equals 7 Good. now let's do this using the elimination method so we're going to label these numbers and actually I'll, write, I'll rewrite equation 2 again in orange 2x plus y equals, what, 2x plus y? 2x plus y equals 7, so it's right. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use, what the first step is to label the equations, while I've done that in colours, and then the second step is to write, write it, y in terms of x from equation 2. Now we can do this by subtracting 2x from both sides, as in linear equations. So our equations become, Um, y equals 7 minus 2x and 3x minus 2y equals 0. So what we do is we substitute this part into here. Okay? Because that we know this is the same as y. So... We can write our question like this, 3x minus 2, and then we put the other equation in, the orange equation, 7 minus 2x equal, equals 0. Good. So what we can do is we can then expand this bracket so we get 3, I'll write everything in blue now. So we can get 3x minus 14 plus, plus 4x equals 0. That comes out to 7x minus 14 equals 0. We can then add 14 to both sides to make it 7x equals 14. And then we know that x is equal to 2. So once we've isolated the x equals to 2, we know that x equals 2. We know that x equals 2. Um, and then, we can just substitute x equals to in that one of the equations, and we'll do it like this. Um, equation 1, 3, 2, minus 2y is equal to 0. We know that this is 6. 6 minus 2y is equal to 0. And from this, we can just see that y equals 3. Now, that is the substitution method. There is another method, known as the elimination method. No, I don't really like this method that much. It's not my favourite. I don't really like subtracting the equations, but we'll do it anyway. I generally prefer to use the other one. So we do x plus 2y equals 8. We've got our orange colour again, and we've got 2x plus 3y. Equals... Uh, maybe it's just 14. Okay, so we can't use our previous method here. It's not going to work because we have a coefficient in front of the y. What we have to do is we have to multiply one of the equations so we can subtract the equations. We know that we can multiply equation 2. We know that we can multiply equation 2 by 2 to make it so we really both have the 2x, which is what we want. So we can turn this one into... 2x plus 4y equals 16. Because we need this, because we're going to subtract these equations. Then we do 1 minus equation 2. Okay, and let's do this. So, what we do is we get 2x plus 4y equals 16. Then we have minus 2x plus 3y equals 14. So what we do is we know we're doing subtracting two 2x's, and that's just going to cancel out, and that's what we want. We're going to cancel cross out those. So we've got 4y minus 3y, that just comes out to y equals 16 minus 14 equals 2. That's our quick answer, y equals 2. Now we know that y is equal to 2. We can then find out the other one by putting it back in. We know that um, x plus 2y equals 8. We know that 
to y equals 4, so x plus 4 equals a, then we know that x is equal to 4. Okay, so um, I think that's all we'll do today, but and I'll um, see you next time where we're doing problem solved by simultaneous equations, and we'll also do quadratic equations. But um, if you have any questions, don't forget to um, leave a comment, but um, I guess I'll see you next time then. Bye!